Hello there. Did you watch the last episode? You know, episode 166. Did you notice the error? Someone did. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 167, The Retro Bounty Hunter's Error. <laughs> It has been fun reading your comments on these videos. In fact, I've learned some things from your comments. For example, in my last video, I asked the question of why Hasbro made some of the weapons of the bounty hunters, the retro bounty hunters, why they made them blue instead of black. I thought that was kind of an error on Hasbro's part. But two people left a comment about this. The first was... Mark Smith, 9015, who wrote, Enjoy your videos. The reason the rifles are blue is because the original ones were that color. I didn't even think to look back at that. I thought Hasbro was just kind of playing with us a little bit, not thinking, well, these are supposed to be reissues of the original figures. I should have gone back and looked at the original figures, I guess. But my original figures are not on the card stock anymore, so I don't know if it would have helped a whole lot. A few days after Mark Smith left his message, somebody else left one. And that would be Jason Bolt 7450. He wrote, great video. The original Kenner figures of Dengar, Bosk, and IG-88 had blue weapons. Okay, well, he just confirmed what the first person said. So you see, I can learn things too from these videos. Now, there was one other comment that really caught me off guard because I guess I wasn't paying attention enough during the video that I was making and it didn't snap into my head when I was going through it. Totally Taylor Retro Hunters 7764 wrote, Love these Star Wars unboxing videos. Very enjoyable. Is Forlom and Zuckus names wrong to the figures? And I thought to myself, no. There's no way that could be. So I had to go and grab the boxes quick and take a look. And sure enough, if you look at the names on the figures, they've got them wrong. They've got Forlom named Zuckus and Zuckus named Forlom. So I had to open up the box and find out, okay, is this really how they marketed it? And sure enough, if you look at it, they've got the wrong names on the figures. And I thought, how in the world could Hasbro screw that up? So I was wondering, okay, did I just happen to get a couple cards that were wrong? So I went back to the Amazon website and checked it out. On the Amazon website, they are shown exactly as I got the figures here. And then I, I was thinking about it for a couple days and it suddenly dawned on me. Could that have been the way that they were originally marketed back in the days of the original trilogy? Did Kenner make that error? So I went online and I started taking a look to see if I could find out anything. And you know what? I found a few websites, including my go-to source, rebelscum.com, and sure enough, back in 1982, when they released Forlom, look who they released it as. They had Zuckus and Forlom. The names were mismatched all the way back then. So when Hasbro reissued these, they basically reissued them with the wrong name to the wrong figure. And I thought that was pretty cool. Hasbro, instead of correcting it, decided to leave it exactly the way that Kenner had it back in 1981 and 82. In fact, this is a comment from rebelscum.com. Most vintage collectors will argue to no end that Kenner's vintage Star Wars line was flawless. But even the most diehard out there will agree the toy maker did mess up once. The mistake in question deals partially with the Forlom action figure. It seems that the hardworking people at Kenner 
had somehow mixed his and Zuckus's names up. As a result, to vintage collectors, this dude will always be Forlom. Well, you can say that if you want, but if you go through all the literature, all the comics, and everything since then, this is Zuckus, not Forlom. I would like to thank those of you that leave comments to educate me on things about these action figures and so forth and point things out that I missed. Because sometimes when I'm making these videos, I kind of go through them quickly. And like I said, I didn't even catch they had the wrong names on the action figures. So want to thank those of you who left the comments. And of course, thank you all for watching. If you enjoy these videos, I do appreciate it when you give it a like and share it with your friends, of course. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so that you are notified when more videos come out. Well, this is a shorter one. Just wanted to let you know about this. Hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.